Folks, this is Corbin. Um, this is for my podcast, The True American. And uh, we have a guest here with me, a brother I have a great deal of respect for, Tony Wheatley. He's running for State Rep District 55. And he at one time was a, a longtime business owner, very successful business owner. Sold his business and, um, you know, now he's... Now he's just basically, from what I'm seeing, just dedicating himself to, to uplifting the people of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the, and the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Um, a lot of times I read his posts and his other other things that he puts out there, and I'm just saying to myself, man, this is this is a true patriot. Uh, this is somebody with common sense. And uh, brother, I hate I hate to say this, but I, I think if you go up there to you get up once you get up there to Frankfurt, you you might be uh, might feel a little isolated, because I just don't think we have enough folks like you up there in Frankfurt. I mean, do you agree or disagree? Or, well, or? I think there are a few up there that uh, seriously can be converted. Uh, you know, we, we've got some people, strong people up there now. You know, we've got uh, Savannah Maddox and. Uh, uh, Rayburn and uh, of course, uh, you know, Adrian Southworth. Uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of numbers, but for every conservative Republican we can get in, and and I like to call myself a conservative uh, uh, patriot more than a Republican. Because yes. uh, the fact is, <clears throat> a lot of the Republicans up there are just uh, biding their time and trying to give us a little about what we want. And they, uh, if you've noticed over the the big issues we've had, such as mandates, et cetera, they, uh, they will give us just a little okay. and we'll settle for it. Well, we have got as, as, con as constitutional people, we have to stop settling. And uh, that's where, where our weaknesses are right now. We're taking what they give us and saying, OK, thank you. And they're you know, they're, they think they deserve a big pat on their back. But the fact is they're just watering down everything we put up. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully with we can add a few more conservative patriots up there, we can eliminate some of that. And, right, you know, right. It's not going to be overnight, but we, we do know that there's some strong people up there. That just They bow down to leadership, what it is. Mm -hmm. And they need a leader uh, besides Savannah to do this. And, you know, uh, I'm offering my services because that's, that's what I do. You know, it, it's just a fact that we have to live by two principles in this world, and that's the biblical principles and, and the Constitution. And right. if we don't, then we're going to fail. You know, the one thing I, I remember, um, one of the first times I, I guess you might not say, I didn't, I wasn't formally introduced to you, but I was exposed to you, I guess you might say. Yeah. You handed out a copy of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And I was astounded by that. I said, I have never had one, never had anyone handed to me. Mm -hmm. And brother, I'm a college graduate. I grew yeah. middle, elementary, middle school, high school, Kentucky. College, Berea College. Never had a copy of the, the Constitution <laughs> of the Commonwealth of Kentucky handed to me. Brother, I'm a political science major. Never had it. Wow. And not only did you make it available, it's free, but you were encouraging people to read it. I was like, yeah. and so this guy's some sort of crazy radical. What's he doing here? I've been called worse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that, that's the fact. You know, we did a survey, and we discovered that most people under 40 years old didn't know what the Constitution was. You know, they've heard of it, but or most of them have heard of it, but they didn't have a clue. They have never read it, never never seen it, never right. seen a copy of it. Uh, and so the goal for Constitutional Kentucky, which I used to be the um, founder of, uh, was to get those constitutions out to people. Right. And, and we did that and in pretty pretty good amount last year. I think we handed out over 15,000, mm. uh, and that's a lot. But, you know, we didn't charge anybody for them. We, right. we uh uh, whether they're a church or uh, just a just a young person or a person wanting one, we made sure they got a copy of it. Mm -hmm. You know, we've sent, we've mailed out a lot of a lot of copies of the Constitution to people. So, and we we don't never bring in a lot of money. We just bring in and, and uh, make enough to make them you know buy their books and and uh, uh, get the postage out. So, right. uh, you know that, that 
I was glad we didn't have to charge for these books because yeah. they're important for everybody to have a copy of. I mean, you know, it's it's pretty simple. Did it did it ever sort of what what was the one thing or two things that this caused for you to say to put in your heart, hey, I I got to do this. I got to get this this constitution into people's hands. Was was there an an event? Or? Was, it was was there a moment? Yeah. Yes. Um, my my seven year old <clears throat> at the time she was seven. Now she was probably six or me you or know, five or, or less. Uh, came home from school one day and and just said, you know, they're talking bad about the president and. Hmm. And I'm going, well, what did you do? She said, I got up and left the room. Wow. And I'm thinking, you know, if my daughter can do that, it's at her age at the time, wow. you know, seven year old now, she, she's very out there. She'll talk, she'll talk to you all day long about politics. Mm. Uh, but that was part of, I'd already started doing the constitution things, but that was that it embedded in me to make sure we get enough of them out. Right. Um, we started off doing that from the get-go, but we, we didn't put a lot of uh, hard work behind it. So when we started listening to what kids were saying and what kids were being taught in the schools, uh, we decided that was enough. So we want to make sure we could get every, you know, I sent letters to every school uh, that would listen to me mm -hmm. about getting giving constitutions to them. Uh, we started off, private schools were on board with it. The public schools didn't want to have much to do with it so uh, but you know how that goes but right. uh, we have some schools that have taken them and and uh even if i don't know what they're doing with them obviously if we get not in the classrooms but but if we can just get somebody to pick one up and start reading it and realize uh, these are where my rights are and these, these exactly. are you know and they're if you read into it and you can Find biblical principles in there, and that—that's where we're lacking in this country right now. As people walked away from from God, yes. and uh, you know, that I'm just here to try to help bring people back to it, right. to God and and the Constitution. So, right. And, well, let's let's talk about that a little bit. You're running for state rep, District 55. Right. Uh, are there? You know, first of all, how can people contact you to to, to read your platform? To, to donate to your campaign well i i'm very open my phone number is uh i'll give it and i'll give it to them now it's 502-377-9795 okay uh i'm always open to taking phone calls if somebody wants to talk to me i have a website which is uh wheatley for the number four kentucky.com okay. and then of course i have my facebook page there's wheatley for kentucky uh, there's also my personal page, which is where I put most of my things at, because it belongs to me. It's personal to me. Okay. And that's uh, T, uh, T. L. Wheatley, Tony L. Wheatley on Facebook. So Tony L. Um, Wheatley on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And I just, that is a, uh, <clears throat> what I say on Facebook is, is how I feel. And, and uh, the other, the Wheatley for Kentucky just gives a little bit about information about my campaign. But if you want to know the real me, get on my Facebook page. You'll find it. I'm not... <clears throat> You know, I'll talk about different things. I'll talk about sports. I'll talk, you know, I, whether I like it or not, what goes on in sports. I, right. I'll talk about what goes on in church. Um, just and across the across the you know the universe in general. Okay. So I'm not. My comments are not always, you know, about about politics. So okay, great, great. All right. Well, we're going to end the interview here, brother. I really appreciate you um, coming and and sharing with us. And you and uh, I often explain to my listeners time and time again why I actually named this pon podcast "The True American" is named uh, after a newspaper started by an abolitionist named Cassius M. Clay. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people know Cassius Clay because the great Muhammad Ali was named Cassius Clay. Right. And they know that he dropped that name, claiming it was a slave name. And yeah. yet, when I when I was back in uh, middle school actually uh, my father handed me a book on the history of uh, history of black folk in K Commonwealth Kentucky and I found that Cassius M. Clay was an abolitionist mm -hmm. and a rather radical abolitionist he inherited yes. his slaves white men inherited his slaves didn't mm -hmm. let them go and and the, the the amount I mean he he lost a tremendous amount of money in doing that yeah and he sure so did. Yeah, I mean, it was... It well, 
just proves that money, it, it's not about the money. It's about the, the principles of, of human life. And, right. uh, you know, we, we all have to learn to respect each other. Uh, you know, I, I still, I may not always agree with someone that's black about the slavery issue, mm -hmm. but I still respect their opinion. You know, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a group of people that went through hard times. But, you know, we have to look at it. My philosophy is in life is there's always going to be a hard time for somebody. Yes. Uh, we have to see how we overcome that. Right. And that what, that's what makes the man, uh, how you overcome those hard times. And right. I think we'll all experience it sometime in our lives. Yes. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, it was it was mass, massive. But, you know, you look at we look at Germany and, and the Jews and how what kind of issues they had to go through. Right. Uh, we've been very fortunate in America. And, uh, you know, I feel like every day we get pushed more into, uh, issues that we don't want to be involved in. Mm -hmm. Um, but it has happened, but let me tell you one thing that I want to mention why I'm running. Sure. Benj Benjamin Franklin was once asked, what kind of country do we have? And what do he say? We have a Republic if we can keep it. Keep it. There you go. I want to be one of those people that can help keep it because we need a lot of people, not probably stronger than me. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do my best. And uh, I'm challenging, I'm going to challenge legislators to do the same thing if, if I get in. And, yes. uh, I, you know, that's, that's the efforts I've got to make to kind of push things over where we're back looking at the Constitution instead of just going, well, this works, but, you know, it, it's unconstitutional and we'll pass it anyway. Right. We can't do that. Can't do that. All right, brother. Thank you again. This is this is a Tony L. Wheatley, folks. Please, he already gave us his contact information. Uh, please use it. Go to that. Go to his Facebook page. This brother's wide open. He's not hiding anything. He's not hiding anything. You you ask him, hey, what's your opinion on this? He's going to respond to you. And my suspicion is, once he gets to Frankfurt, he's going to be the same way. We need well, more patriots like him. Here's the deal. My vote counts for everybody in Kentucky, no matter whether you live in Louisville, Hazard, wherever. What I how I vote is going to be a, a you know respect for the citizens of the whole state, yes. not just my area, because we have uh, you know we, we can ask what we want and you know demand something for one county or another, but the fact is we've got to vote for the whole state, and yes. that's where our issues are right now. So you know I'm there to, there to do it. So. Thank you couldn't, for having me. Couldn't couldn't agree with you more, brother, and and I appreciate you coming on. Let's 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 do this again sometime. Sure, just right, anytime. Just call me.